Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, wanted to do another video. Um, uh, this time, nothing but brewing. I will get a little housekeeping out of the way. I'm smoking some of that capstan blue I got in the previous video um, in my tobacco store bargain bin pipe. I'm drinking an Abita Andigator. Uh, lots of you have been asking about school and uh, just a little homebrewing update, wondering what I've been doing. Uh, if you saw, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you may have seen that I'm selling some stuff. Some of you asked about that. So I just wanted to uh, come on and give everybody an update and more importantly, uh, tell people about uh, my hat, the Siebel Institute of Technology. Which as uh, most of you know, some of you probably don't, is a brewing school. Uh, I have notes on my iPad tonight, um, but uh, as far as home brewing, I'll get that out of the way right now first. I've got a sour stout that I brewed on June 2nd, still in primary. I have... Uh, brewed that June 2nd. Uh, every sour beer I've had that's of a similar style is uh, I feed my sour beer with the dregs. So it's uh, getting nice and complex. I will be brewing a clean stout and blending them. Uh, the mouthfeel on the stout, as I thought it would, is uh, pretty, pretty thin. But I don't know when I'm going to uh, be doing that. Uh, I've also got a pumpkin beer that I'm going to be bottling here shortly. And uh, I've got four 53 gallon uh, California red wine barrels coming, uh, which will be put to use soon. I, uh, I'm currently helping out a brewery locally uh, that I talked about in a previous video uh, called High Cotton, and uh, they're doing some cool stuff. Right now I think they've got a beer to guard. I haven't been in a week or two, but uh, they've got a Christmas stout, a, a stout with uh, white peppercorns fennel seeds and something else and uh, a bunch of other cool stuff but anyway um, to get to the Siebel portion of the video um, in October I went and did a two week two-week class called the concise course in brewing technologies and uh, if you are interested in the uh, master brewer program through Siebel uh, you either have to meet certain requirements um, and you can get in or you can not meet all those requirements take this class and move on and uh, at the time when I signed up for the class uh, for the master brewer program I did not meet all the requirements so I went and took these prerequisites uh, but before this is going to be confusing but before immediately after I got accepted to Siebel I got to 
go in and help with high cotton. So, uh, I could have not taken that class. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I took the class. The class uh, ran from October 19th through November 1st, I believe. And then um, the Master Brewer Program uh, classes are from in Chicago from February 3rd through March 22nd, I think. And then that night we get on a plane and head to Chicago where I will be uh, from March 23rd until July 25th. Um, I'm, there's a slight chance I may come home in May, but um, not really uh, sure at this point. Um, but I'll be right outside of Munich in a place called Graffelfing, uh, studying at the Domans Academy when I'm in uh, Germany. So that's a little bit about the uh, program dates that I'll be doing. Now I've got some uh, notes on my iPad that I'm going to uh, be looking down at every now and then. I actually, uh, there were several topics recently on homebrew talk about uh, beer education, so I posted my experience and so that's what I'm reading and I'll tell stories along with it. Um, basically, like I said, the two the uh, two week class was the concise course in brewing technologies and basically what that means is we spent about one hour to a couple there were a couple um, lectures that took about three hours, but mainly we spent one hour on everything you could think of relating to uh, production and commercial brewing. Um, anywhere from uh, brewery hazards to sanitation and cleaning, all the way on up to mash filtering, uh, beer filtering, um, packaging, and any and everything in between. It was pretty intense. Um, we were in class in a classroom Monday through Friday from 9 to 5. And uh, that wasn't all bad. Um, like I said, each day uh, was broken into one to two, and uh, sometimes there was one or two um, presentations that ran into three hours. But um, pretty much each day was broken into hour sections. And uh, when the two weeks was up, we basically touched on everything. Um, we had several sensory panels, uh, which basically was spiked Budweiser. Um, and we had to uh, see if we detected the off flavor, um, describe what we thought the off flavor was. Um, and describe some of the characteristics of all flavors of the all flavors um, we also had a few beer styles tastings which was pretty neat we um, we did German and English style beers and then American beers and something else I forget I'll be throwing pictures up here um, in the video of some of the things. I didn't take much, many pictures, didn't take any videos, so, um, yeah. Our 
let me go ahead and show you I've got some more uh, props I guess um, but our books this was uh, week one sorry I'm bumbling and uh, this was week two um, so all together <laughs> that's how much information we learned um, I'm not sure the exact uh, measurements on these binders but I think each of those is a two inch binder um, this was for week one and week two like I said uh, the master brewer program for the seven weeks in Chicago has one of these each week so when I do this video uh, in early August about my experiences in the master brewer program there will be seven of these plus whatever we get while we're in Germany um, I won't spend too much time on the books but this is basically how it was broken down. Um, basically, each lecture was a PowerPoint presentation. And these are the PowerPoint slides. So there's four to each page, four slides to each page. And uh, I pretty much, uh, the first day, took notes in a spiral. And then uh, only from then on out, only took notes on the pages of the PowerPoint presentation. Um, give you a little bit about what it was like. Uh, the first, the first day of classes, we talked uh, brewing process, brewery hazards, brewing water, brewing water. The business of brewing and brewery startup and operations roundtable. The second day we talked about hops for three hours, followed by enzymes in brewing, barley cultivation and harvesting, a sensory panel. Um, then that Wednesday we talked about barley malting, malt analysis, specialty malts, milling, and then we had a beer styles tasting. Uh, then the next day we spent two hours on mashing, um, then an hour on adjuncts and cereal cookers, and then spent two hours on watering, and then mash filtering and wort boiling systems. And then to round out that first week we talked about wort clarification, wort cooling and aeration, uh, taste panels, brewing calculations, uh, we spent two hours on brewing calculations and then recipe formulations. The uh, second week we talked about the nature of yeast, yeast growth and fermentation, biological control, quality assurance and control, uh, yeast maintenance and propagation, yeast management, and then we had a sensory tasting. Uh, Tuesday we talked about cleaning and sanitation, Fermentation operations was spent two hours. Uh, brewery, CIP, and all those from the cleaning and sanitation to brewery CIP uh, was taught by Matt Brendelson, the head brewmaster at Firestone Walker. Uh, then we talked about control of fermentation flavors for two hours, and then we had uh, another styles tasting. Uh, Wednesday, Matt Brendelson was our teacher again, um, and we talked about colloidal stability, flavor stability, uh, interpretation of beer analysis, uh, brewery effluent, and kegging and dispense, cast conditioning, and then we had another sensory panel. Thursday, which was the day of our test, we had classes in the morning and then uh, the test was in the afternoon. 
basically we had two weeks of class that culminated in one uh, test. So both of these binders, uh, all he had to prepare for, we were cramming for one test. Uh, then uh, that Thursday morning we talked about maturation and aging, filtration for two hours, <coughs> excuse me, oxygen control, carbonation, then we had the two hour quiz. And then we had to come back on Friday. They planned it where we had all classes on Friday and then the last two hours was our graduation. Uh, but we discussed pumps and pipes for two hours, beer packaging for two hours, and then valves for an hour. So that is kind of a, a little peek into what we discussed or what, what the topics we discussed were. Um, let's see what else I had in my notes. Oh. <laughs> After all those books, um, in preparation for the Master Brewer program, uh, I've been reading and studying technology malting and brewing uh, this is the fourth edition international edition by Wolfgang Coons but um, this is another hefty mamma jamma but uh, this is basically everything that's this is all those PowerPoint slides detailed um, so I've been reading this in preparation. Um, so that's what I'm doing there. Um, teachers. <coughs> teachers were uh, pretty good. We had a guy who was the brewmaster for Anheuser-Busch for 27 years. Um, he quit he took the buyout when or he got he left when uh, Anheuser-Busch got bought by InBev but um, he was good he taught us raw materials hops and malt uh, hops and malting and malt barley specialty malts forget what all he taught us but um he wasn't, he wasn't super great in the raw materials, but when it came to production, he was the best teacher we could have imagined. Um, one was Matt Brindelson from Firestone Walker. He taught us for two days. Um, Keith, who's the VP of Siebel, was great. Uh, Lynn, the president of Siebel, was, uh, who taught us mainly about fermentation, was uh, really cool. Uh, looking forward to uh, ha learning from them in the future. Um, there was another guy named John who had uh, taken the diploma program, which is the from the diploma program is from February through April. At the end of April, when we're done in Germany, um, we, when we're done in Germany for the diploma program, we have a diploma in fermentation sciences. And then uh, May, June, and July, June and July are, um, the master's program and then May is hopefully going to be working in a brewery in Germany.
And uh, that John teacher had just gone through the diploma program a couple years ago. And um, so he kind of brought a recent real world, here's how you make it through the master brewer program. Um, so that was, that was a good uh, point of view to have teaching. He's also been in the uh, brewing industry since he left, or since he finished Siebel, so. Uh, as far as other students, there were about 40 people in my class. We had one South Korean, three Mexicans who worked at Modelo, uh, two Canadians, a guy from Israel who's brewing somewhere in he's gonna kill me because he's watching this video uh, I saw he subscribed just the other day uh, a meet uh, I can't remember Massachusetts but I don't think that's right uh, we had a guy from Miller Coors a quality control person from Kona uh, several people who never brewed before never didn't know anything about beer um, and then the, somebody who worked at Smirnoff, the parent company of Smirnoff. Um, the first week of Siebel was in the former Siebel location, which was, uh, Goose Island Clyburn. Um, so we'd be in Goose Island's brew pub for all day long. We'd go to lunch, a lot of us would eat there and have a couple beers at the bar for lunch. And then a bunch of us would hang out there after uh, to let the traffic die down because that's a pretty heavy, heavily congested area. Um, so I spent a lot of time at Goose Island, loved those beers. But uh, the second week we transitioned into Siebel's new facility which is in the bottom floor of Kendall College, which is a pretty, pretty top-notch culinary school in um, Chicago. And uh, one of the coolest things about that was for $5 a day, you could go, or for $5 a meal, you could go to one of three uh, restaurants. There was a cafeteria which is where I ate exclusively. And then there was like a quick serve restaurant where you'd go up and order what you wanted and they'd make it real quick and give it to you. And then there was a sit down fancy restaurant uh, where you could order wine and have waiters serve you. Um, and all those options were $5 a meal. I uh, had some phenomenal lobster, um, some really top-notch beef and barley soup, a really good Reuben. Um, the people at at Kendall College were pretty nice. They uh, the students were awesome. They'd strike up conversations just because we were we were brewers. My battery's running low, so I'm going to uh, get to getting. Um, once all the brewers got got the no hats in the cafeteria rule down, uh, the kennel people were very nice. Um, we also got discounts in area establishments. 20% uh, off at Goose Island, 10% off at Haymarket. Um, we also, the most, the coolest part about Siebel was the beer stube, which uh, was a bar right outside the classroom. It had four taps, three taps, but only two were on. Um, and we had a fridge full of beer. You could go to the bar in between classes and get a beer. Um, since, since we were on such a tight schedule, as I described earlier in the video, um, the teachers uh, encouraged questions and discussions, but 
we also didn't stray too far off topic so that we could stay pretty much on on schedule and um, the beer stew we could go out and talk to um, the teachers in more detail talk to them about what we plan to do or what we are doing um, it was a it was a cool place to hang out and talk to your classmates and uh, brewer uh, brewer friends and uh, teachers so it was neat um, talked about the books uh, we we definitely most of us had to study um, if you worked in a professional uh, commercial brewery you definitely had to jump on the game um, and potentially could have known a lot of that stuff um, but for home brewers and for people just getting into the industry um, it was absolutely a uh, good experience but we did have to study but I passed the test um, and after the master brewer program when I get my own thing going um, the concise course will definitely be factored in to the capital expenses um, for any partners or whatever. Um, the last eight months working in a brewery really gave me a good foundation of knowledge to build on. Um, and if you're serious about brewing on a commercial scale, um, I'd really consider going to, if not the full concise course, going, well, if not the master brewer program, then definitely the concise course. But if not that, and you're interested in doing something, uh, but don't want to dedicate a whole bunch of expense to your education, you can uh, take three-day classes, one-day classes, online classes. Um, and uh, it's well worth it. I, I'm looking so forward to the future. Um, it's great. Um, I feel I feel confident that um, I could open open a brewery um, with a lot of help, obviously, um, just on the base of what I learned in that class. Um, but I feel I'm doing the next level because I'd really love to open my own thing and uh, just do it right, do it right the first time. Uh, but that's a little bit about uh, Siebel and kind of a homebrewing update. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get uh, answer each of them. Uh, if you have any specific um, questions that you don't want to put in the comments uh, for whatever reason the length or whatever um, I'm happy to answer them my email will be in the box down below um, you can email me um, yeah uh, let me know if you'd like me to talk more specifically about any of the topics we discussed um, otherwise consider this my Siebel uh, school update up to this point and uh, I'm planning on banging out a couple brewing videos prior to leaving for school but I will definitely have my camera with me in Chicago and a lot more time to do things um, I didn't even talk about any of the beers I drank drinking incredible beers lots of great food um, it was awesome it was a great two-week trip uh, studied hard and worked hard but man played hard too um, but yeah uh, anything anything more specific that you'd like to know feel free to uh, ask I may talk about it in a video um, if there's a lot of people asking the same questions um, if you want to know monetary figures you can send me a email and then gonna you guys are going to come along for the ride I may 
um, may be creating a new channel strictly for here and beyond to keep this home brewing and hobbies and then that professional separate so that uh, people who are interested in the home brewing hobby side and not the professional side don't have to deal with that and uh, that I can have a more targeted um, uh, have a more 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 in-depth detailed discussion about topics um, on the professional side of things without boring the people who are strictly hobbyists uh, I'm not 100% on that idea I may just stick with this one channel but we'll see as time draws near I uh, hope you guys have a good one leave a comment like it uh, if you have somebody uh, know somebody uh, wanting to get into professional brewing uh, share it um, other than that I don't have a whole lot else to, uh, to talk about so I'm gonna end it and I'll talk to you guys soon take care